So that podcast thing had happened, like Tusk happened. And as an exercise, too, and like, well, let me not think about Clerks. Let me just start writing fucking Tusk. It took shape. The script was done in like three weeks. My wife gave them a, bless a blessing. She even said this. Like, she married a fucking director, and I stopped directing. And I realized she pushed me towards Tusk because... When you marry a director, it's kind of sexy because it's like there's movies and money and movie stars and you're flying places and shit. When you're married to a fucking podcaster, <laughs> you know, which is what I became by choice. I was like, I'm done directing. I'm a podcaster now. <laughs> the glamour is not the same anymore because suddenly you're like, I'm going to wear my pajamas, smoke some weed, Facebook, talk yeah. to Scott about Batman for three hours. See you later, man. You know, I'm fucking go and that's that. So when I was like, I want to make a movie, she's like, uh, all right, even if it's this fucking movie, go ahead. So her encouragement, I, I, I said, she said the amazing thing. She's like, uh, I said, where do you think we'll get the money? She goes, why don't, you, why don't you put up the house? I said, fucking really? I said, I would love that, but we shared a house together because we're married and, you and did? shit. So close, so fucking close. <laughs> it was my only regret about Tusk because I'd never had a chance to gamble on myself since the first movie. Like after the first movie got picked up, I, I got lucky. Somebody else started paying for my art. But here I was this weird crossroads where I hadn't made a movie in three years. I'm like, fuck, man, I get a chance to literally go back to the, to the starting point, man. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood and I could fucking go back and take the other fucking road. So I was like, fuck yeah, I'll bet on myself. It worked one time before, man. It's gotta work with a walrus, right? And so, <laughs> so I asked, so she was like, go ahead, put the house up. Because you know, you don't need to Two, the budget was 2.7 million. You don't need 2.7 million to make a 2.7 million dollar movie. You need about 300 thousand dollars cash equity. So you know, I was like, we and can you put get our the house. Rest how? The rest through foreign sales, pre -sales uh, some financing, pre-sales. So yeah. I was lucky enough to put some faces in it, okay. and also my long tail. Uh, helps okay. uh, foreign wise people are like oh that's that guy who he did clerks he used to be good and so they <laughs> they they take so another shot something. I've got that career where people are like it's a weird slot machine where they're like all right man fucking walrus movie he's a genius and they put money in they pull the handle and it's like lemon lemon walrus and they fucking lose and like fucking man Kevin Smith's a loser and they're like what mall rat sequel fuck yes and then they put the money in and pull the handle and, so, you know, I try to deliver, but you can only do as well as you can and shit. So, you know, there was that moment where I was like, we'll pay for this. This is awesome. Like, she wasn't there for the beginning of my career. Like, that was me on credit cards, living at my mom and dad's and shit. My wife could take the ride with me. She's like, put the fucking house up. I was like, we'll go down in flames with the walrus, you know? <laughs> And so, uh, so Shannon, Shannon Magatosh is one of the producers on the movie. She's a wonderful woman. She sent the script to, uh, out to a few people. She sent it to this company, Demarest, run by Sam Engelbart, David Greathouse. And so they call up and they're like, we would like to come over and talk about your Walrus movie. And I was like, oh my God, please. Like, I, I would love it because I'm fascinated by it myself. Come on over. So the, they come over and we chit chat at the beginning about, you know, business and blah, blah, blah. And who are you and who am I? And then Sam points to the script on the desk and he's like, are you fucking serious about this? And I was like, the walrus movie? Dead serious, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do this. I'm, I'm going to pay for it myself. He goes, what's the budget? I said, 2.7. He goes, well, we've got money in a slush fund for the end of the year. It's November. <laughs> they finance finishing right. funds on movies like 10, 15, 20 million. Like they'll come into a movie, a big movie and shit. But he's like, we got a little slush fund, man. We haven't used it this year. He's going, I would like to pay for this movie. And I was like, why the fuck would you pay for this movie, man? <laughs> Like, I know why, why I would do it. I'm doing it eventually, ultimately, to get laid again because my wife's like, he's a director, amen, you know? So <laughs> I was like, what's your fucking thing? And this was beautiful, man. And this is a key component to the story because it feels a lot of shit in this business. Motherfucker goes like this. I just want to see if you can do it. Wow. And I was like, are you serious? That's three, $2.7 million of if. And he goes, I think it'll work. He goes, I think we cover our bets foreign sales wise. I think it's just different enough. And if we do that, if we're covered, he's going, then who cares? If it makes money, that'd be amazing. But if it doesn't, fuck it. We just get to watch it. And I was like, bam, you know, that's, that's the kind of like fucking padrone you want and stuff. That's a true, uh, what do right. they call Medici or something like that? That's a patron of the arts right there.